Hey guys, so just some quick life updates. I've been gone for a little while and as you know, I've been getting into uh, drawing. I want to really make this into a more artistic site. I want to do more paintings and I want to talk to you on this video about all the things that I've been up to. So in my travels, I tried jackfruit for the first time. Now I was going to make that separate video, but I just kind of want to put them all together so that I can keep moving on. I'm making more videos with y'all. So I'm going to show y'all how my first time trying jackfruit was and then we're going to talk about it. Hey guys, so this is my first time trying jackfruit and we're going to see if it's jacked up. I've never, <laughs> <laughs> I've never had it. I know it looks jacked. I can't imagine it's being tasty, but um, let's give it a go. Hey, it's weird. Surprisingly, it's sweet. This part, I think I'm supposed to pull this part off. It tastes like a mango, in my opinion. It tastes like a, a mango and a pineapple. This is really exotic. And, like, I don't know if it was to eat the sack thingy, but I'm going to taste another, take another bite of it. It's surprisingly sweet. It's not that much juice, but it almost tastes like a fruit cup. Like, you know how fruit cups got all the fruits mixed together? That's what this tastes like. So, I do, as an algae sufferer, I am feeling a slight burn, but it's not terrible. I still recommend it for the weirdness by itself. It gets a, um, <laughs> gets a six out of 10 for me. Okay, guys, bye. <laughs> Okay, guys, so as y'all saw, I liked it when it first started. The jackfruit was fun. It was weird. I saved the seeds, which the seeds actually go bad. Like, you know how other uh, plants you can kind of keep the seeds like for a year? These go back in 28 days or whatever. And so it was really exciting, but I just got to warn y'all, I will never be eating jackfruit again. Probably not for the rest of my life. I got so hurt from it. I have a nasty allergy towards it. And if you have an allergy like me, I'm allergic to usually, I used to be allergic to apples and pears, but now I can eat those, which is weird. But this certain one, oh my gosh, it blew my mouth up. My lips were so swollen. I just got over that. And it was so painful. I, I mean, oh my gosh, it felt like my throat was going to close. It was so painful. But it didn't last long. It only lasted for like a half an hour. And I was like never again you know <laughs> so watch out for that and then in my travels i tried the rodeo king the new um burger at burger king i let y'all see that right down
Okay, so that was really interesting. I want to talk about that a little bit more. I didn't have time to talk about things. I was with my friends. And I didn't want to do like a full review in the back. <laughs> and like I was, uh, I just wanted to eat and I wanted to just have fun. I didn't play in the whole review. <laughs> but I want to update y'all on it now. Okay, it doesn't have a whole lot of flavor. Like it was kind of good. But it was big. So then by I was full. I barely could finish it. I had like this much as I like save and then come back to it. Okay, like hugeness. It was big. But it didn't really have the whopper is tastier. Like the the whopper bacon, like the bacon whopper, that tastes like at least 50% better than this one. This one's a lot of meat. There's a lot of um there's no vegetables, there's no uh tomatoes or onions and this are things I kinda I really like on a burger. And it doesn't have those. It just has uh, onion rings and ketchup and cheese. And so it's huge, but it's like a, a whole big old meat thing coming at you. And another weird update before I go. Okay, this is something weird my cat's been doing. My cat has been pulling nails out of the wall. I don't know why. It's been weird. I, she, I, she went to my, my room and I was like, okay, I have a few like nails in the bottom of the thing where I had like, little pictures and stuff up. But I took them down. Enough like where she could reach it. And the nails were still inside the wall. I saw her working underneath the like the, the thing just working at. I was like, what did she do? I thought she found the bug. I was like, oh, it's a bug. I look. She did like this with her little mouth. And then like walks away. And I'm like, what's she doing? And I looked. And the cat is pulling nails out of the wall. She grabbed the nail and pulled it out. And had it between her little, you know, little, little mouth pads. They got little mouth chippies. I said, no, don't do this. So I took it from her. And I wanted those nails to kind of stay. I wanted to put more, like, pet pictures on there. But I'm not, like, ready to do that yet. And I looked. She was at it again. So I took a hammer. I got rid of them. I said, I can't let her sit there and just, like, get, like, sick or, or take this nail and just nothing weird with it. And I didn't want her to leave for the dog or nothing like that either. So... That was weirdness. And then, my cat's being even more weird, she, I had some uh, Cheetos. And I was eating my Cheetos. And they're like little small, like small little Cheetos, the little skinny ones. I was eating it. And she was desperate to get to get one. She's like, oh, give me a Cheeto. Give me a Cheeto. And I was like, well, you never want stuff like that. She never wants stuff like that. She's really, really finicky. And I said, wow, you know, now do you want a Cheeto? Okay, so I give her a Cheeto out of my hand. I put it on the table. That's where the cat was. Cat's on the table. Now it's on the table. She grabs a Cheeto, picks it up her mouth, and jumps off of the, t off the uh, table and, like, licks it, licks it a bit. And then she looks at me like this, all conspiratory, conspiratorly, I, I can't say a word. And she's like, looks at me funny, and then she, like, she puts the Cheeto down and looks behind her at the dog. And the dog is sitting there looking like, you know, dogs, they want to eat, like, anything. And she leaves the Cheeto and, like, places it near the dog and walks away. She didn't even want it. And the dog looked like, is that for me? And he ran and ate it. And I said, is the cat feeding the dog? The, the, cat, the cat fed the dog. So I don't know what's going on. My cat pulling nails out the wall. She, <laughs> she now <laughs> fed the dog a Cheeto. I don't know what's going on with the dog, with the cat. But <laughs> she's being really mysterious. Oh, and by the way, did anybody see the solar eclipse? I was out. I was out gardening during the solar eclipse. Actually, that was so much fun. Um, I was out there. I was gardening. I was working on my yard. I got to show a picture of my yard, actually. It was pretty good. And um, I was I was planting, like, a few... Um, ever hear of a plant called uh, sheep's ears or lamb ears? That's what I was planting. They're very cute, and they're very fuzzy. I love touching them. They're just awesome plants. And they grow really big. It's already pretty big. I put it, like, this small. But either way, I was doing that, and the solar eclipse came. And so I walked down to the library to get some glasses, and they didn't have any glasses. And so I was like, oh, man, I can't look at the solar eclipse. But it was so much fun to, like be underneath it like I feel like that just like I don't know it just felt good like when it passed by um I was like I could everything got like kind of dark and like hazy it didn't get like pitch black I'm not in that line of um like you know at that that area but it covered up a lot of it and so everything took on a really dusky you know bluish look and I was like oh, like it was fun I was gardening it was just a really good time it was it was fun it was a it was a good experience so that's my life update um, I'm hoping to get more into a lot more drawings and like a little more things. Oh, 
And um, before I go, that's my, my space, my whole life update thing. But before I go, I want to show my new piece of art I got. This is really cool. Like, I usually don't buy art. Like, I make my own art. But this is not something that I really know how to make. It's made out of gold. So, and not made out of real gold. But it looks golden. So, I'm just going to show it to y'all real fast. I think this is so lovely. Like, it was at a store. It was not, it was not even expensive. It was just so pretty. And I thought it was a major find. Look at that guy. Look at that. That is so pretty. It's got a mirror on the outside. I'm really pleased with it. And I think it goes with my um, decoration. Those are my paintings up there. My little calendar. My other paintings. I think it really goes with my room well. So I'm really pleased with it. And so yeah, like I said, that's basically it. I'm going to now go eat some pizza. I got some pizza and I'm really, really excited about it. And um, yes, yeah, so I'm hoping to make more videos. And tell me in the comments what y'all think. And have y'all tried jackfruit? Have y'all tried the new Rodeo King? And what's y'all out for the solar eclipse? And oh, and if you have both the glasses, tell me how they worked out. So yes, it's basically it. And I'll talk to you guys later. Like I said, all my videos, I'm an author. Check out my books and the links back at my channel. And I'll talk to y'all later. Okay, guys. Bye. <laughs>